hi guys welcome back to today's production with julie on julie tv it's your girl julie is this your first time coming across this channel please do consider to call subscribe and don't forget to press the bell notification so that each time i upload a video you'll be able to get notified well today's video is a little bit you know disturbing and um, but before i you know go into this discussion i would like you to you know take a look at my pictures here but um mind you the pictures you're about to view is um a little bit disturbing so viewers discretion is you know advice Having seen the pictures, I believe you already know what I want to discuss. I want to talk a little bit on the abuse of our domestic servant, which most Africans call the house help. You know, for you know those of us who really because the uh, the is the definition is the same, but I would say the the way people view it is different from different part of the world. If you are in the Western world, the way they see domestic workers or you know is different from you know africa domestic um workers in the western world are being paid so it's not it's not a, it is not like a big deal there because they are being paid for their services unlike you know africa africa you know is more or less like glorify slavery if not slavery that's what i would consider it slavery but i'm not going to speak um without you know letting you know that i'm going to discuss this based on you know on facts because the person talking to you i've been there i know what it is i was a house you know help for a very long time so i'm going to speak from a place of somebody who knows the true definition of a house help especially in nigeria well um I've seen videos, I've seen pictures, and they are really, really, you know, disturbing. And as a mother now, <laughs> I would not, for any reason, for any reason in the world, give my child out to anybody, not my sister, not my relative. Considering my experience as a house. As, as a house help, I will never, when I mean I will never, I will never. This, it is the highest degradation you can, you know, get as a human being. Especially when you, you know, when you are a house help to homes or to women who I will refer as, I'm sorry to say, witches or devils in human form. You know, sometimes I wonder why women who had gone through, you know, childbirth, they've been there, they've been, they've been pregnant for nine months, you know. I, I wonder why the woman who had gone through that process would treat another person's child the way, you know, they do. If, for God's sake, if somebody is kind enough to give you his or her child, to help you because I know from from experience that most of those children that are given to you are not paid they work in your house day and night with little or no food they are treated they are maltreated they are treated like I don't want to use the word dogs because in the western world dogs are even treated better so I would not want to even use they are treated like they are not human beings you know Talking from a place of someone who has been a house help, I might sound a little bit, you know, angry because I know what it is. When I mean I know what it is, and I also know the after effect of it. Even years when you are you no know, more, you know, you are not experiencing that anymore, you still have the after effect. So I want to use this opportunity to beg mothers. I know times are hard. I know. It is very difficult, especially, you know, if you are from a very poor home, 
where you don't have especially most most of the time you know they are widows you can't take care of your children and you want to give them out to people to assist you for the child to have a better life but before you do that please please know who you are giving your child to monitor your child monitor their welfare because i'm when i mean i'm talking from experience most people knows my story so these children are treated the way that no human being should be look at the case of you know deaconess yemi the one that we just you know surfaced yesterday just look at her case this woman maltreated another person's child you know what it means to burn to burn the genitals with fire you know what it means to you know cut her skin i know the torture i know the feeling and i know how that child is going to live with it for the rest of her life you know i'm sorry <laughs> this video is some is one video that i don't know <laughs> coming from a place of a house help i i can't even you know describe how it is because you have no idea the best person to tell you would be you know the little princess her story you know some people were like you know some people always say yeah there are wicked wicked you know house help there are this there are that yes but most of them are made you know they are the product of what the society has turned them to what women like you and i have made them to for god's sake if you take a child and you feel that that child is not good enough send the child back to the parent if you know you can't treat somebody's child the way you would treat your own child send the person back because there, as no no woman will starve the his or her um, her child, no woman will. So why pick somebody's child and you will not want to feed the child? Why would you take somebody's child and you maltreat that child like it's she's not a human being, just because you are in the position, you know, you which you feel you are better than. Her her parents you feel that nobody will speak for her you feel that she will never be somebody some of us we are told the same thing if I use my case for instance and I I remember some of the words that were told to me at the point in my life you know I was told that a slave will always remain a slave I was told that you you can never ever taste the good things of life i was told a lot of things you know it took you know the grace of god to pull me out you know out of that situation and the, these words came from people who were they were relatives who were meant to just take care of me they were not outsiders what would they have taken out of you to take care of somebody's child because there's something you don't know about life the same child you maltreated today might be your savior tomorrow the same child you refuse food might be the one to feed you tomorrow the same child you deny education might be the child that will save your life as a doctor or a nurse or you know whatever profession tomorrow the same child, you know, the same child you refuse the good things of life might be the one to provide for you tomorrow. Yes, you might have your own children. You feel that they will be the one to look after you. Life does not work that way. Life does not work that way. A lot of people who, who you know, valued their children like eggs like gold at the end of the day these children grow up to disappoint them the people that might come to your aid are those you know the rejected stone 
they no good. They so called house help. The fatherless, the motherless. If you are treating somebody's child with so much torture and so much hatred, tomorrow you also label the same child a witch. She's a witch. You have done this, you have done. The same thing you cannot tell your own child. Listen, I am not against discipline. Discipline a child. I'm not against it. I'm a disciplinarian. I believe if a child does something wrong, that child should be corrected, but with love. The same way you will treat your child. Treat that another person's child. Treat that house help of yours. At a point, even, even to use the word mom for the person that took care of me was a case. I'm not, you kept, you kept saying I'm not your mother, I'm not your mother. I knew she was not my mother, but I wanted just that love. What will it take out of you to feed a child? How wicked can a human being be to do this to a child? What will it take out of you? There are public schools, free education. Why will it, what do you take out of you to just let that child go to school? You think you are the person's God. Because you are in the position today. I've seen a lot of people fall from glory to, <laughs> to grass. I've seen a lot of people with all their riches. Their money can't save them while, while they are sick. What, are, what, what is there to live for? What is there to feel big for? What is there to feel God for? Nothing. All is vanity upon vanity. You are busy torturing another person's child. This, look at the injury on this child. Who does that? Who does that? Apart from the devil. Even with the torture on this child's body, even the devil will come to learn from you, you wicked woman. The devil will come to learn from you. I just have just one advice for women who are taking care of I just have one advice for women who have house helps with them please if this child is not helpful to you if you think you cannot feed this child if you think you cannot educate that child send the child back to the parent if the child is too stubborn for you to control, send the child back to the parent than inflicting such wickedness on another person's child. Stop making it look like women are witches or even the devil. What you will not do to your children, why would you want to do it to somebody's child? You know, this, you know, these children will grow up feeling that the world is a wicked place. They know nothing but wickedness and hatred. And you cannot give what you don't have. If you are instilling this child wickedness, torture, hatred, anger, the, how is the child going to come out a better person? It is the same you that will call that child a witch in future. But you have indirectly made a monster out of the child. With your wickedness. With your wickedness as a woman. Please. I have nothing much to say. If you have a child living with you. And you know that this is difficult for you. To show a little bit. We are not, I'm not even saying show maximum. Show a little bit of love to that child. What is food? What is education? You know What is clothing? What is a good place for this child to lay his or her head? If you cannot provide this for this child, please send the child back to his or her house or her parents so that she can at least, if she did not see food in her house, she will be able to get what is called love from her parents. 
you bring a child, she's awake all throughout the night, taking care of your children, taking care of you, cleaning, washing. Some of them, 3 a.m., they are still working. Some of these children, they know nothing like fun, play, sleep. They, all they know is walk, walk, walk like donkeys. I am talking from a place of a person who has been a house girl. I know I'm, I will take time in my previous video to you know, explain to in a lot of people who don't understand you know, what it means to be a house girl. The torture is there. The scowl is there. It doesn't go. You know, there's a lot of things that is said to you that follows you all throughout your life. Because it's like a stigma. It's like, you know, it's just dead. It, don't, it can't go away. Even we, Please, mothers, do not give your children out to people who you don't understand your, their, you know, their ways of doing things. Who you're not sure. Or who will not even give you the opportunity to know the welfare of your child. Because for them not to give you access to that child, then something is wrong. Something is wrong. You know, when, when sometimes, you know, let me talk, let me give you a little instance with, with my story. You know, when it's time for, your, for you to see your parents, they buy the best clothes. You know, kit you up. But the, but the person in that cloth is being dehumanized. It's been battered for days. I would like to stop this video here, guys. So, um, that will be it. Please like, please share, and please subscribe. Like I always say in all my videos. Bye.